Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews, guys. I'm back with another Transformers review and live transformation. Today, I'm going to be doing the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Autobot Grapple. So yeah, Grapple. He is a really cool guy. He turns into a like a crane truck type thing. And he looks really awesome. It's good to have another Autobot in the gang. So let's look at the box for him. Looks really, really nice. Of course, War for Cybertron here. Transformers, Takara Tomy. On the side, you've got this great picture of Grapple. And he is currently grappling with life. On the back, you have him in his truck mode and in his bot mode. 16. Wait, no, 16 steps to transform him. My English is not doing too well today. You have all the important stuff there, important stuff here, important stuff there, Autobot. And on the side, you've got the War for Cybertron artwork, which looks incredible. So guys, time to roll out and transform. So guys, here is Grapple out of the box. And as you can see, he looks really, really nice. Here is the instructions. Um, honestly, I didn't even use the instructions. I kind of fiddled around with it a bit myself and eventually got there. And that was like, they're pretty straightforward anyway, like usual. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and transform him from my memory, which might not be great because I initially opened this guy about a week ago, if I'm honest and transformed him then so what you're going to see now is me fiddling with him and probably making a huge mistake but firstly he does come with some accessories he comes with this really cool um winch thing for pulling cars up that pops off and you can pull out his fist which is cool he also comes with this nice gun which he was holding onto pretty tight that's okay could be better but uh articulation wise you don't get a lot of movement on the head well you don't get any up or down movement or side to side obviously because it's in this little structure the arms go up that way you have a bicep swivel you have a good single jointed elbow there the wrists don't move uh, obviously they go in here for the transformation which we'll do in a while you get some bend so he can look down legs go all the way out you do get a good bend at the knee and it's kind of articulated at the foot but um yeah it'll go down that far but that's that's mostly to do with the uh the transformation here i go so again guys i do stress that everyone needs to find their own way when they're making these like you can follow someone on youtube or you can follow the instructions but eventually the fun in transformers for me is Figuring it out yourself and getting it your own, getting your own kind of uh, habits and ways of doing things. And of course, if you can't do it, then go to YouTube and watch somebody else do it. Somebody better than me though. <laughs> so yeah, legs. They go down and pop up like this. So that's your legs. Now you think these would click together, but they don't. What actually happens is... That goes around there as far as I know. So the arms pop out. So firstly, the head comes off like that. Um, straighten that out. So obviously I have the hips now the wrong way around. But yeah, that comes out like that. And will more or less even out to here. So now you have these clips here. Now I have seen other YouTubers say that these clips are quite stiff and can lead to breakages. I tried it anyway, but it didn't break mine, so it's up to you, but they do, they do clip in on mine without much problem. So yeah, that's what you've got so far. The arms, obviously, put in the fists, like so, Oop, put in the fists like so. Now, there is a way of turning these <coughs> in that they just click together. I think it's like this. 
So I'd see the clip now. So what you're aiming to do is these silver parts, right? They have to go in here. In here, sorry. So yeah, you get like you can get it like that, just go one in at a time. And then then get that around there. And that should clip together. And there's little holes here that go into the pegs there. And then just move around your uh, grappling hook and pop it out. And just even it all up. And you've got yourself a little crane truck. Now this part does pop on here as well if you want to push that back. <clears throat> And now you've got a thing for picking up dismantle the cars. So that's pretty cool. Again, you can stick the gun on the side if you want. Doesn't make much sense, like, but anyway. So that just goes around. So it's much easier to turn him back into robot mode. So again, take this off. Just basically, like, I don't know why no one really says this. Just reverse what you did initially. Push that in, turn it back around. So, the way I do this, unplug everything, pull that back up, unplug these. There is your arms and stuff. Pull that back out, come out. <laughs> I think I'm going to find these really finicky at times. The hands you really need fingernails something i'm not really blessed with <clears throat> anyway this is the moment of truth it said these are really tight and dang it is tight but it does pop out with no damage and that just folds back up really nice way they've done it and the head should just pop in like so, it does. And back there as well. The legs are simple, they just pop back up really, really easy. <clears throat> and once you get that hand out, which you do, you have Grapple back in bot mode, ready to fight and give him back his gun or whatever you whatever you like yourself. So yeah, it's really like, it's like every Transformer, there is a knack to it, but once you get it, it's really, really easy. I know it took a while there for me to get it, but for a Voyager, he's pretty good. The articulation is great, you can get some really cool poses and stuff out of him. Um, let's have a look at him compared to some others. Here he is next to Starscream. So yeah, the height is pretty good. I think he's ass kicked by Starscream. Um, the height is pretty good with him, yeah. So I'm really pleased to have him in the collection. Again, guys, if you stayed and watched all that, more power to you and thanks very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, or at least had a laugh at the very most from watching that. Um, if I can do anything to entertain you, that's even better. And if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Um... I'm only starting to really get back into Transformers now, hence why I'm so crap at the moment at doing transformations. But I am getting better. Anyone who watched my Cyc Cyclonus review will attest to that. And with that, guys, I will leave you here. And thanks once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.